I have a lot of these Uber stories. A lot of you guys don't know this about me. Well, all of you don't know this about me. Unless, of course, you are Charles Elatori, Travi Williams, Christopher London, T. Pendel, or Mr. Guy Jokes then you don't know this about me. And that is I drove for Uber. I did Uber for about two months, but within those two months, I've accumulated a lot, a lot of stories I could tell you guys. You don't believe me? You want more proof? This is the Uber sticker you put on the right side of your windshield when you go online. And this is an air freshener Uber gave to me when I got my vehicle inspected. I think I might use this actually. Now for some of you, that isn't enough for me to prove that I drove for Uber. Well, here's my email address and here are the emails Uber was sent to me at the end of the week. Let me know how much I made that week and what my ratings are and things like that. There, the proof is in the pudding or the proof is like on the screen. So it was a Friday night around 9.30 PM and I got this request on my phone, beep, beep, beep. I accepted the request, I'm coming to get you. I get to this guy's location, I pick him up. He's like in his mid twenties. So far he seems cool, we started talking. Everything was good. Until he said, yeah, you're taking me to my office because I left my snow there. And then I was like, uh, we're in Southern California. It don't, it doesn't snow here. Now I didn't say that I was thinking it with my mind. Now me as a driver, I never cared about where they wanted to go. I'll just take them there, drop them off, let them do their thing. And I would get the money and I would, I would leave. Damn, this sounds like I was in a cartel. And then he asked me, yeah, do you do snow? Like I knew what he meant, but I was really hoping he meant like some snow that you would see on the ground in the winter time. I didn't. But I said to him, nah, man, I'm good. I don't want to try it. I'm, I'm, I'm good. And then he said to me, are you sure? Because you feel like Superman if you try. And I'm like, I'm good feeling like your Uber driver right now. Now, I never once felt uncomfortable. I never felt like I was in danger. If you want to mess with someone that's 6'8", 250, then you do it at your own discretion. And I'm also not like these other Uber drivers. I'm not going to pull over and tell you to get out. I'm not going to call the cops on you. I'm just going to pull over. We're going to handle business. Once I'm done with you, I'm going to dump your body at Newport Beach in, in, in the ocean. So I get him to his destination. Once he gets out, he tells me, can I wait there? Because he's going to go inside, get his stuff. When he comes back out, he wants me to take him back to where I picked him up from. I'm like, all right, you're paying for it. I'll wait right here as long as you want me to. So I'll wait there for about five minutes and he gets back in my car and then I head back to where I picked him up from. So there I was driving. I look in my rear view mirror and I see him in the back seat doing cocaine, bro, out of his hand like, you sure you don't want to try some? No, nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm a recovering alcoholic. I told him no to the cocaina. I didn't, I didn't want nothing to do with it. I wanted to tell him to stop it before we have a problem. But then again, I thought like, yo, if I tell him to stop it, he's gonna give me like a one star rating. And then my 4.98 is probably gonna go down to like a one star and I'm not gonna be able to drive anymore and get this quick money. So I was like, do your thing. Calm down. There was about six miles left on this trip and I swear to you, within that six miles, I've never seen more cop cars in my life. So I'm thinking like, no, bro, I, I got locked up at eight years old. I'm not going back right now for a serious crime. I'm drug traffic, I don't know, I, I don't know. I, I might've been safe because I was with Uber, but nah, Uber don't. Uber don't care. There was about one mile left on this trip and he tells me to pull over at the 7-Eleven so we can go inside and get these energy drinks. I'm like, if that makes you feel like Superman, then why do you need energy drinks? What do I know? I don't do cocaine. So he goes inside this 7-Eleven and I wanted to end the trip so bad and just drive off and leave him there. But I was like, nah, I can still get a bad rating that way. I'm gonna wait for him, only got one mile left. I'm gonna finish strong and get this money. So he gets back in my car and immediately starts I'm like, bro, calm down. Can you breathe? Hey, I don't want you dying in my brand new car, don't, calm down. I finally drop him off, he gets out of my car and he's like, yo, you're the coolest Uber driver ever, man. I'm gonna give you five stars. I hope we meet again. My passenger side window is rolled down, so he put his head through the window and tried to shake my hand. I'm like, yo, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna really knock you out if you don't get your head, move. I didn't touch his hand. So he walks away and then I drive off and I'm not gonna lie to you, I drive like another mile before I ended the trip. Because you got cocaine in my car, like I'm gonna get an extra dollar fifty out of you just for like putting my, my life in danger. I eventually end the trip and I give him a one star rating. Now I never give anyone one star. It's either a five star or maybe like a four star if you're too drunk and you just wanna be loud hanging out my back. I usually give five stars. But I gave this cocaine guy in particular a one star just so we can never get matched up again. Don't you start barking bro when I'm trying to finish. I will bite you. I gave him a one star so we can never get matched up again. I never seen him again and life was just Where's my well, maybe you jump this gate. Got me out here dressed like a dad and stuff. If you guys enjoyed that story, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up and do not forget to share it because Sharon is Karen and I, I love you a lot. So, oh my god.
excuse the dog because apparently he's not gonna stop. So subscribe to my channel for new weekly videos. Check out the description box. Follow me on all my social networks and my vlog channel. Subscribe to that because I upload like gaming videos over there and I upload like vlogs and stuff. So check it out. Also, we are only 1,800 subscribers away from hitting 100,000 subscribers. That just blows my, I'm gonna blow this dog's mind. So thank you for subscribing and thank you for your support. That's all I have for you guys this week. So until next week, remember, I'm only here to save your Monday. Can somebody save me right now? Cause, oh, ooh, I got this Uber. I'm really about to use this, so. Bad idea, I got my shoes on money. <laughs>